And let me tell you why I hate you You keep the one she wants, she excuse you Are you not real shit to anyone? I know a lot of you are doing your UK cat um, and the time has come to start applying for medicine so I thought I'd make a quick video about my tips and advice on how to do well in your UK cat. Now just before I start, quite regularly I do med student snapchat Q&A's so if you want to check, if you want to take part in the snapchat Q&A's then make sure you add the social media, I'll put them up here um, and you know you can get involved with that. Tip number one, make use of all the free stuff out there on the internet related to the UK cat. So there's so much free content out there, it, it makes sense to use all of the free resources first before you start paying for um, resources. One of them on offer are the official UK cat questions. Um, you know, there's practice questions set by the official UK cat uh, website. So obviously try them out as well. Another free resource which I came across was a channel on YouTube which is basically called Medic Mind. Now Medic Mind have took the time out to basically go through all different types of UK cat questions and do like tutorials. Now it was the only channel I came across on YouTube which have got like this many tutorials on their uh, channel uh, for the UK cat so it would be worthwhile checking them out. It's a free channel on YouTube so it won't cost you anything and they are actually really helpful. The second thing that I recommend is get used to the test conditions. Now unlike your maths exams you won't get a scientific calculator all you'll get is a little calculator on screen. Another thing to bear in mind is that, again, because it's on a computer, the test is on a computer, so you won't be able to highlight uh, passages and verbal reasoning. Um, the room is generally stuffy, it's quite hot, there's other people in the room, you're not the only one, so get used to people making noise. Now, the way you can prepare for stuff like this is trying it on a li in a library where you know, you're not the only person in the library, there are distractions, etc. Um, and you're doing it on a computer. So make sure you get used to all the test conditions because it's not like your normal biology, chemistry or, or your maths exams that you, you know, you're used to sitting basically. The third tip is courses. Now, often I get asked about these courses. Is it worth doing these courses? Um, are they helpful? Now, the thing with these courses are they are actually quite helpful and they do work, but if you haven't got the money, then you know there are definitely other options available, uh, free resources, etc. So it doesn't mean you have to do the course to do well on the UK cap, but they do work. They are proven to work as well. The first one is Medify. Um, Medify are really good. They've got 4,000 questions on there. Um, they're, they're set in a proper UK cap style, so like on screen, um, on on screen calculator, everything. You know, using the number lock and stuff, um, but and they also give you like statistics um, and feedback on how you've done on each section, which is quite useful. The second one is Kaplan. Now with Kaplan, it's quite expensive, so I don't know if the value for money is, is you know, is that good, but um, it's a classroom course, so like it's dead dictating. Some students have told me about one-to-one -one tutoring, which I've heard is actually quite good and it works. Um, so that's one thing you could consider, one-to-one -one mentoring. Now Medic might offer one-to-one -one mentoring, which um, is worthwhile considering. It's like a six-week course um, and you know you have a one-to-one -one tutor. So it's up to you if you want a classroom course or a one-to-one -one tutoring. But yeah, those two I would recommend. The fourth thing that I need to mention is focus on your timing. Now the UK cat is all about timing. It's not about, you know, can you answer the questions? Because they are GCSE maths questions and, and like simple questions. It's about how fast can you do it. So what I would recommend is focus on your time from as early as you can. Spend about three to four weeks preparing for the UK cat and uh, make sure you can get them within half a minute. Get your answers in within a minute or half a minute basically. The fifth thing that I need to mention is don't worry if you've done badly. Now if you've done well then congratulations. Now you know you can go and apply for universities but if you've done badly it's not the end of the world. Remember, you, we're doing medicine, there's so many different entry routes into medicine. Like, just because you've done badly on your UK cat doesn't mean you can't do medicine. There's BMA, there's foundation year medicine, there's medicine abroad, medicine, like medicine in Europe. Um, there's so many different routes into medicine, it isn't the end of the world. So, and not all unis look at the UK cat. So, remember, it's not the end of the world. Don't panic. You still do have a chance of getting into medicine. So you know, don't worry. So thanks for watching, hope this video was helpful. Um, I'll put all the relevant links in the description below, so make sure you check them out. Um, 
But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And bye for now.